Hi guys, it's Fig Selector here, back with another video. This time I'm doing a review on the figure I've just got in, in the last seven days, which is the Predator Emissary 1 Predator from the Shane Black movie. The characters we never got to see in the finished movie because they were edited out. So, I finally got this one. I've got Emissary 2. So, I finally got my hands on Emissary 1. I didn't pay over odds for it neither. I got it for less than 40 quid, which is a good deal. Uh, so, yeah, some pictures there of the character on back. Um, bit of information there regarding the Emissary 1 Predator. If you want to pause it and read it, you can do. So, having a look at this box. Usual information there on bottom. Nice looking cover. Digging the background, opening box up, a nice uh, picture of the character there on the inside of the uh, box there. So that's the box, that's the Emissary Predator box from NECA. Right, let's get the boring bits out of the way, let's do the accessories. So this character does come with three sets of hands, uh, it does come with a pair of closed fists with uh, a bit of effects there like uh, silver paintwork giving the effect of scratched metal uh, on his armour so it got, does come with a pair of closed fist hands he also comes with a pair of um, open palm hands um, yeah again a bit of silver paint there giving the effect of uh, scuffed armour so yeah this predator is purple as you can see judging by skin colour uh, so that's his hands he also comes with another pair of hands which are attached to the figure he also comes with the uh, spare helmeted head which I've got to say is better painted than it's more shiny and better painted more solid paintwork on this than the original uh, Fugitive Predator release, his helmet wasn't as glossy as this, it wasn't as shiny, the gold paint wasn't as uh, effective, it was pretty pretty piss bar to be honest. But this one's a lot better. It has got some marking running across the front of his uh, helmet there. You can barely see, it's like a faint line. I don't know what that is. These things happen when you get figures and none of them are actually perfect, perfect. There's always some little gripe. So, and he also comes with the exactly same machine gun as the Emissary 2 Predator. It opens up the same, same paintwork, silver and black, same, same bullet pouch there on the side of the gun, same bullet style. Everything's same. Only thing that's different is his armor's slightly different. So here's the guy in question. I've got him on a stand-up moment because this leg is slightly longer than the other leg. That's why it's slightly bent on a stand. So these things happen. So let's have a closer look at this figure. Actually, I'll put him back on the stand. I don't want him falling over. It seems to happen a lot on my videos. So, we'll have a close look at that figure. Uh, a lot of people are raving about this figure when it first came out last year, some time ago. Um, the fact that it's got like a, like a fine silver, silver spray on his crown there, blends into this purple. It's got a great facial feature of only a mother could love. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Um, his armour's slightly different way it's patterned patterned to the uh, emissary 2 um there's loads of little bits little bits that are slightly different it's not an exact duplicate body with a different um paint scheme for his skin tones um it does come with a wrist gauntlet but it doesn't come with any wrist blades because he's got a big massive bloody machine gun um it is good it's paint work on his legs look outstanding we'll turn this guy around and have a look at him from behind don't fall over don't fall over don't fall over 
there you go don't fall over so there you go the back of his armor there the pouch around his uh, waist the, the, the glossy effect of his skin tone to give that lizardy look about it um, the camouflage the creases on his clothing it's done really well really well probably won't see it too well but there's just like little grooves running across that strap just not picking it up too well there you go some glare I think so he's got some great looking uh, detail on this figure um, there's nothing that comes off this figure there's, there's no pouches that come off or anything like that his belt don't come off everything's fitted to it so <clears throat> let's get into articulation so his head his head does look back about that far it's really limited because of all these dreadlocks and the size of his head and his armor and so things so forth so forth so his head tilts back that far it looks forward about that far not a great deal of motion up and down it does look from side to side like so um, his arms do turn 360 though you can only raise them to about that height due to the bulky armor on his shoulder there is no bicep split he has got a a little more than a 90 degree bend in that ankle in that ankle in that elbow even um <coughs> he does turn at the elbow he has got a rotation in that gauntlet there he has got a rotation in his wrist and his wrists do bend up and down like so but due to it's designer gauntlet it's primitive pretty limited um his upper torso there is a turn there as well quite loose quite movable it does go from side to side it does till only so far back but he's got a better range of motion forward than he has back um he has got a split at the waist he can do the splits like bruce lee look at that walk ah um, it does kick forward that far and it does kick back that far he also has a double joint in the knee um, there is no upper thigh cut but his top of his leg does turn about 90 degree from inwards to outwards I'd say roughly 45 I don't know something like that 90 to 45 degree or something stupid um, there is no low cut of the thigh he does turn at the knee um, he does turn at the ankle he does move slightly up and slightly down and it does sort of pivot from slight to side to side slightly um, great looking figure glad I picked him up there's a few more that I'm wanting that are out yet so that's going to be an investment um, I can see me doing loads of overtime at work for all this lot but just so as a compact comparison is the emissary 2 we'll move it we'll move him over slightly get my stand up then here's emissary 2 Right, you can see looking at them side by side that they're completely different. They've got the same gun. Their armors looks very identical, but it isn't. He's got pouches on both sides. He's got the same pouches there, but he ain't got the pouch on that leg like this character has. Um, he also this character has a lot of uh, straps going on down the side of his arm there. Whereas this character doesn't. And also his wrist gauntlet on the Emissary 1 Predator is on the reverse side of the Emissary 2 Predator. So they're not exactly duplicates of one another. Different skin tone, different head sculpt, different style of crown or head sculpt than this. Totally different. But that's my review of emissary one from the fugitive predator movie um so 
I enjoyed it, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, hit that bell notification so you know when my videos are coming up next. So it's uh, another review from me, guys, another wonderful NECA figure. So I'll catch you later and probably see you in a week or two. So see ya. I'm out of here.